guys. It's 1.26 in the morning. I just woke up, had a beautiful dream with the Lord. And a lot of things, you know, were in it. The peace, just the blessing of, of Christ was in it all over me. But as I woke up, I'm filled with this overwhelming sense, you know, to absolutely come on here. I, I had no idea that I was going to do a video or anything. The Lord has pulled me immediately to warn, to warn people. The message is many are not ready. And it's the absolute truth, guys. Many of you are not ready. Many people out there believe they have Jesus or believe they have salvation or believe they're walking with the Lord and they don't know Him. They're not ready. Their hearts are not in the right place. And for whatever reason, they, they just don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. I'm telling you that there's been a shift, a spiritual shift here lately to where, you know, things are being spoke many, many times. For years and years, many things have been spoke. But I'm telling you that everything's in action now. Very, very deeply in action. The, the persecution that comes on, on um, people every day, guys, is going to be right in our faces before we know it. It's not a joke. And, you know, everything has to happen because uh, prophecy has to fulfill itself. But I'm telling you guys, the Lord is calling out to you. And he is saying that many are not ready. Many people believe they have Jesus and they don't. They do not have the truth. They do not have salvation. And so many are going to show up there and they are going to be turned away and they're going to end up in a hell that they don't even believe exists. This world, guys, you have to understand something. When we leave this lifetime of ours, we transfer right over into the spirit. We understand immediately where, you know, we're either going to be judged and end up in hell or heaven. People on earth here, they're, they're the ones who are saying there's no hell and things like that. When you're in the spirit world, there's no question of if there's a hell. You know, so many things here, so many people are led so astray. I've had pastors who tell me that there's no hell. I mean, guys, please, you have to get on your knees. I don't care about you following men. Stop listening to men. Stop surfing this YouTube looking for the answers because the answers you're going to find on your knees. You better get on your knees, turn off your TVs, turn off your computers, turn off everything that distracts you and get on your knees and beg Jesus Christ into your life. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. If you die right now, are you ready to face Jesus Christ? When's the last time you repented? Do you believe in what he did on the cross? Do you believe that he shed his blood so that our sins could be forgiven? Do you believe that he rose from the dead and that he is our savior? Guys, I seen this savior, our Messiah, face to face. He took my addictions in an instant and I've seen how. And I'm telling you, I, I just woke up and I can hear those screams of hell. These people who were screaming, who were in hell, guys, once walked this earth. And no matter what you think, I don't care. I really just don't care about your justification of uh, what you think about hell because I've seen it. The only point I have to do any of these videos is to tell you the truth, empty myself out. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is not far off. And you better flee from the lifestyle of this world and sin. If you haven't accepted him, if you haven't brought him into your life, begging him into your life, confessing all of your evil, getting baptized, walk with the Lord, forget this place. I'm telling you, so many people are going to renounce Jesus in this last day and for what? This flesh? I'm telling you, you're not far off here. You are not far off. The door to grace is still open, but you better get in it. Your soul's at risk. Wake up. Wake up. I'm telling you. I just had the most peaceful dreams. But as soon as I woke up, he 
he told me many are not ready and woke me up just out of such a beautiful thing but man I'm telling you it's on my heart more and more and this has been on my heart this has been on my heart it's coming Jesus is coming Jesus is coming and if you're not living right if you're not ready to face him then you're gonna be in trouble and your soul's at risk and let me tell you something many people are just looking for his return you're supposed to be about your work you're supposed to be his hands and feet here on this earth and going out and sharing the gospel and reaching out to people be about his work don't be looking on a time when he's coming because it won't matter but what if you die today what if you die tonight in your sleep would you be in good shape to go before Jesus Christ himself you think he's gonna handle your excuses you think he's gonna give you a pass like your boss does like everybody else on this earth does he's not he's a just judge he's long-suffering he loves us truly but he's a just judge there has to be a just judgment you've been taught lies from Satan that there is no just judgment that God loves everybody and everybody enters it makes a mockery out of the whole crucifixion and resurrection Satan is the king of liars don't you understand he has people that believe and they said a prayer one time the sinners prayer and they're saved it's bogus it's baloney it's garbage from hell you said that sinners prayer one time you're not saved you're not saved wake up surrendering your life to Jesus Christ emptying yourself out seeking his will not yours praying asking the Lord into your heart every day get alone in silence understand what he did for you understand that it's our faith his grace that nothing that we do none of our works could ever get us into heaven please there's so many people on this YouTube teaching and, and, and preaching and they're, and they're wrong and they'll be held accountable for all the blood that they lead astray I'm telling you get rid of your distractions in your life guys get rid of them get on your knees many people say I don't know how to find Jesus I'm, I'm so lost you know where you find them on your knees begging out crying out asking them into your heart confessing everything that you've done you have to break yourself down and surrender and once you surrender he can work with you but you hold on to this world as if you can do something as if you run something many are not ready many are going to be taken by surprise many think it's a joke just as they did in the days when the flood came and that ark door shut and many are going to be in the same mindset today their hearts are hard and they have scales on their eyes they won't listen there's a hatred among people today just the name Jesus Christ convicts people to the bone you either love Jesus Christ or you hate him you can't stand his truth He's the center, central figure of the human race. Why? Because he's the Messiah. Because he is the only way to God Almighty. He's the only way to the Father. I'm telling you. You can look around you. Something's going to give. Something's going to give. And you know what? People are persecuted every day. 480 people are murdered every day for their love of Jesus Christ. Just because they love Jesus. And you know what? These people, when they confess their loves for Jesus Christ, they know that their life's in danger. They know they're going to be murdered. They've seen the other examples that happen to Christians in their country. They know. But they love him so much because they know him. And if we know him, then it's over. It doesn't matter. You realize where you're, what this world means and it's nothing. You realize this world is empty. It's a breath of eternity this lifetime. You look at these billionaires who die. They don't take one cent with them. You know what they do when they die? They head right to Jesus Christ to be judged. Same as you will, same as I will. This world is nothing. This, this lifetime, this, the, the, the enemy brings out and, and wants you to chase money. He says that your economic lifestyle is who you are that's how you're judged 
what a joke and you judge yourself on the your salary you're lost you're misled by the king of all liars two thousand years to complete this believe me it's coming the Lord's coming fast and mightily when I seen Jesus he had beautiful peaceful eyes the most loving eyes you could ever imagine and when he comes back here his eyes are gonna be furious with judgment believe me the power and might of Jesus Christ can never be fathomed his love is overbearing it, it, it melts your soul I don't know how to describe it but I can't imagine what he's going to do I can't imagine the fear the fright the panic if he's coming back here and going to peel the sky back and cast judgment out people will just oh you don't have a clue you don't know you're getting misled all these people coming out with these false dates end of the world here and there and the media makes a mockery of it it's, it's a joke it doesn't matter man's not going to know but I'm telling you I am telling you I'm pleading with you guys many are not ready many are not ready and many many of you think you know Jesus many of you think you you have a relationship I mean you know if you have a relationship but if you're still in this world and you don't know Jesus if you're still living in this world and by the things of this world and you're not walking with them you haven't surrendered yourself you're not persecuted you look at these big mega churches they're not persecuted these people are glorified and put all over the TV. This is not persecution. We are the church. I used to believe I used to have to go to a building. We are the church. The church can be gathered in that building. But we are the church, my friends. Please understand. You are so. All of our souls are coming into a time like no other. We're here for this time. We've been made for this time. And I am telling you, if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, you better get on your knees right now. This is your warning. Your blood will not be on my hands. I'm trying to reach out. I wish people understood what I was saying. I wish they understood. I'm telling you, you don't have time. You don't have time. Get on your knees. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Cry out what everything you've ever done. Confess with your heart, with your soul. Please get baptized, guys, and walk with the Lord. You don't have any other choice. You're going to lose your soul. I'm telling you this right now. There's people who are going to watch this video, and you know what? You'll be in hell someday. The hell I seem. Because you won't listen. You don't care. You loved your sin too much. For whatever reason, you'll be in hell. Do you understand me? Look at me. You will be in hell when you leave here. That's the truth. If you're not going to give your life to Jesus, do you understand? That's it. Stop playing around and move now. You don't have time. Do not approach Jesus as a hobby or lukewarm. You don't have time. Don't put him off. You don't put him off because you can die at any second. People die every day. Let me tell you something. One day you're going to wake up for the last time and you'll never know it. One night you're going to go to bed. That'll be the last time you ever go to bed on earth and you're never aware of it because we always assume we have tomorrow. You can get in a car accident, have an aneurysm, have a heart attack, anything, doesn't matter. Somebody can come out of nowhere and just plow into you, kill you. You can get hit with a stray bullet. I mean, anything, and you're gone. And we all know people who were here one second and gone, young and shocking and all that. The Lord takes us whenever it's our time. You better be ready. You better have your heart clear. You better have forgiven people. I'm telling you guys. You better wake up. You better wake up. And, and even when you say you're Christian, you better wake up. Because if you know Jesus, you know him. 
There's not a question if our Father in heaven is pleased with us loving Jesus. If we know Jesus, there's not a question of if he went ahead of us and built a mansion for us. Okay? Our time on this earth is very short. We're not going to be here long. Before we know it, we'll be in the kingdom. Or we'll be in Satan's kingdom. Myself, I'm heading up town. I'm not, I'm not going back to hell. Believe me, by his mercy, he didn't save me from hell to send me back. I have his assurance in my heart all the time. But you need this. You need Jesus Christ. You need to drop on your knees and call after him and bring him into your life because he can do anything. He's alive. You need a personal relationship with him. You have to know him. You have to pray to him, talk to him, talk to him just as I'm talking to you. Always understand he's Lord, but you can speak to him in any way. You don't have to speak prim and proper. He is for us, guys. The door to mercy is open. You need to reach out and grab his hand and beg him into your heart. If we call on him, he will never forsake us. But open your hearts up, please. Please, many are not ready. Many are not ready. I pray that the precious blood that was shed for us on that cross will protect all of you guys and guide you in all of your ways. I beg you to give your hearts to Jesus Christ. Please come to God Almighty. Please give your hearts to Jesus. Don't play a game. Your soul's at risk, and these, these souls in hell are are suffering something you couldn't even imagine. You can't imagine that this place exists. You just can't imagine it. That's why your lie, you know, your brains turn it into something else and say it doesn't exist. And you know, man always makes up whatever he wants to make up in order to make himself feel good. But I don't care about your false reality because there is only one reality. Are you going to reach out to him? Are you going to play around? Uh, I'll, I'll say this before I leave. When we're in on the other side, when I was in hell, I was aware of everything I ever did here. Every time that the Lord tried to come to me, every time I had something given to me, I was aware of everything I had and I threw it away. You'll be aware of this video. You'll be aware of every time. This is the time the Lord's trying to reach out and draw you in. You'll be aware of this video. So you'll be in hell, and he'll show you each time that you had a chance. Didn't care. You passed it up. You were too busy. You're busy with the world, busy with yourself, your own goals, all these things. The message from the Lord, guys, is that many are not ready. I beg you guys to please get ready. Please be serious. Make him your focus in all that you do. Cling to him. Cling to Jesus Christ as if you were on a mountain and you're off of the cliff and you're just hanging on to his garment. And if you let go, you just fall thousands of feet. Just cling to him like this. Never let him go. Don't take your eyes off of him. Never get comfortable. Just keep with him. Please. Please. God bless you guys. Believe me, many are not ready. That's his message. Heed it.